This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 9, comparing estimated probabilities to probabilities predicted by a model. Student outcomes for this lesson. Students compare estimated probabilities to those predicted by a probability model. Pause the video and copy the essential question. What are two ways you could estimate probabilities? Imagine for a moment the following situation. You and your classmates are contestants on a quiz show called Picking Blue. There are two bags in front of you, bag A and bag B. Each bag contains red and blue chips. You are told that one of the bags has exactly the same number of blue chips as red chips, but you are told nothing about the ratio of blue to red chips in the other bag. Each student in your class will be asked to select either bag A or bag B. Starting with bag A, a chip is randomly selected from the bag. If a blue chip is drawn, all of the students in your class who selected bag A win a blue token. If the chip is put back into the bag, after mixing up the chip in the bag, another chip is randomly selected from the bag. If the chip is blue, the student who picked bag A win another blue token. After the chip is placed back into the bag, the process continues until a red chip is picked. When a red chip is picked, the game moves to bag B. A chip from bag B is then randomly selected. If it is blue, all the students who selected bag B win a blue token. But if the chip is red, the game is over. Round one, done. Just like for bag A, if the chip is blue, the process repeats until a red chip is picked from the bag. When the game is over, the students with the greatest number of blue tokens are considered the winning team. Without any information about the bags, you would probably select a bag simply by guessing. But surprisingly, the show's producers are going to allow you to do some research before you select a bag. For the next 20 minutes, you can pull a chip from either one of the two bags, look at the chip, and then put the chip back in the bag. You can repeat this process as many times as you want within 20 minutes. At the end of 20 minutes, you must make your final decision and select which of the bags you want to use in the game. Assume that the producers of the show do not want to give away a lot of their blue tokens. As a result, if one bag has the same number of red and blue chips, do you think the other bag would have more or fewer blue chips than the red chips? Explain your answer. So we know that one of the bags will have an equal amount of red and blue tokens. One of these is the other bag, and it either has a lot of blue tokens or a few blue tokens. And the question is asking, Assume the producers do not want to give away a lot of their blue tokens. And then which of these would be the other bag? Would it be the bag with a lot of blue tokens or the bag with a few blue tokens? Pause a moment and think about that and write your answer. Planning the research. Your teacher will provide you with two bags labeled A and B. You have 20 minutes to experiment with pulling chips one at a time from the bags. After you examine a chip, you must put it back in the bag. Remember, no peeking in the bags as that will disqualify you from the game. You can pick chips from just one bag, or you can pick chips from one bag and then the other bag. Use the results from 20 minutes of research to determine which bag you will choose from the game. Provide a description outlining how you will carry out your research. We want to make a table to record the number of trials and the results of the color. And we'll do that from bag A, and then we'll do that in another table to record the data for bag B. We'll pull a chip out of the bag and record the color. We'll return the chip and shake the bag, and then we'll repeat that process. And we'll follow the procedure for the second bag. Our table will look like this. We'll keep track of the trials, and then we'll keep track of whether the token was red or blue. So we're ready to do our trials now. And I pull from the first bag, and I get red, then red, then red, then red. 
then blue, red, 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 blue, red, 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 blue, red, 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 blue, red, red. All right, so go ahead and count up how many blue you had. And you should have gotten four. And then there are 30 trials. So 30 trials take away four blue is how many red? 26. Now we'll repeat that process for the other bag. So here's what we know so far. We know that the one of the bags has an equal number of red and blue. Do you think that was the bag that had the equal number of red or blue? Or do you think it might be the next bag? All right, here are the results from the second bag. All right, we've got red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, red, blue, red, 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 blue, blue, red, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, 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 blue, 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 red. Pause the video and count how many blue and how many red. So we've got 13 in the blue column and 17 in the red column. Now look at your data. Which bag do you think is the bag that had the equal amount of red and blue? Next. We're ready to play the game. After the research has been conducted, the competition begins. First, your teacher will shake up bag A. A chip is selected. If the chip is blue, all the students who selected bag A win an imaginary blue token. The chip is put back in the bag and the process continues. When a red chip is picked from the bag, students selecting bag A have completed the competition. Your teacher will now shake up bag B. A chip is selected. If it is blue, all the students who selected bag B will win an imaginary blue token. The process continues until a red chip is picked. At that point, the game is over. Now, keep in mind before you pick which bag, you only get points when, you, when a blue token is pulled. So go ahead and pick bag A or bag B and write it on your paper. And then go ahead and write this down and keep track with me. So these are gonna be the game results. And what we want to keep track of is the points for Team A and the points for Team B. And would you circle the team that you chose to be on? Here, let's begin playing. Round one. So I'm going to start pulling the tokens out. And if it's Team A is going first. So if you're on Team A, these are your results. All right, I pull my first token out and it is blue. I pull my second token out and it is red. Okay, so now it's Team B's turn. Pull a token out, it's blue, and they get a point. I put it back in shake, pull another one out, it's blue. Put it back. Shake them up, pull one out, it's red. All right, let's go down to round two. I shake it up and pull out a token, it is blue. I shake it up and I pull one out and it is red. Okay, time for team B. Shake it up, pull it out, and it is red. Okay, so no points. And we go down to round three. Shake up the bag, pull out a token, it is blue. Put it back, shake it up, pull one out, it is blue. 
Put it back. Shake it up. Pull one out. It is blue. Put it back. Pull one out. Shake it up. No, the other order. Shake it up. Pull one out. It's blue again. Put it back. Shake it up. Pull it out. It's blue again. Put it back. Shake it up. Pull one out. It's blue again. Put it back. Shake it up. Pull one out. It's red. All right, time for team B. Shake up the bag. Pull one out. It's red. No points. Round four. All right, shake up the bag. Pull one out. It's blue. Put it back. Shake up the bag. Pull one out. It's red. Put it back. Shake up the bag. Pull one out. It's blue. Shake up the bag. Pull it out. It's blue. Put it back. Shake it up. Pull one out. It's red. All right, let's end the game there. And Team A is the winner because they have a lot more points than Team B. The question is, how many, to how many blue tokens did you win? Okay, so if you are on Team A, write your answer down, or Team B. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 for Team A, and 4 for Team B. Let's examine your results. From bag A, we have in the bag blue and red. There were 10 of each. And our trials showed 13 blue picked and then 17 red picked. So not quite half and half because we did 30 trials. 13 out of 30 is about half, a little less. And 17 out of 30 is a little more than half. Then in bag B, the amount of red were nine cubes and the amount of blue were four cubes. So twice as many red, a little more than that. The trials showed 30 red and four blue. So not exactly what you would expect, but definitely more red than blue. Before playing the game, you were trying to learn about the bags from your research, or what were you trying to learn? Pause the video and complete that question and then check your answer. I wanted to know which bag had more blue chips. I thought that the higher estimated probability of blue chips would be the bag that had the most blue chips. Question 2. What did you expect to happen when you pulled chips from the bag with the same number of blue and red chips? Did the bag that you thought had the same number of blue and red chips yield the results you expected? Pause the video and answer those questions. I expected to get an equal amount of red and blue chips, approximately 0.5 for each. I did not exactly get the results that I thought, but they were close. Question 3. How confident were you in predicting which bag had the same number of blue and red chips? Explain. Pause and complete the question. I was very confident I predicted the bag of half blue because the estimated probability for blue for that bag was 13 out of 30, and that was a lot closer to half, which is 15 out of 30, than the other bag, which was only 4 out of 30. Question 4. What bag did you select to use in the competition, and why? Pause and complete your answer. I chose bag A because I think bag A is half blue, half red. I think there are less blue chips in bag B. Question 5. If you were the show's producers, how would you make up the second bag? Remember, one bag has the same number of red and blue chips. Pause and complete the question. And here is my answer. I would do it the same way. I thought a bag of all red might be an option, but then realized that all red chips would be no fun for the students who chose that bag because it would be impossible to win any points. Question 6. If you picked a chip from bag B 100 times and found that you picked each color exactly 50 times, would you know for sure that bag B was the one with the equal number of color of each color? No, you wouldn't know for sure. Even if the bag had an unequal amount of red and blue, it is possible, but unlikely, that you would draw blue exactly half the time. In this lesson, you have learned the long-run relative frequencies can be used as estimated probabilities of events. 
Collecting data on a game or a chance experiment is one way to estimate the probability of an outcome. The more data collected on the outcomes from a game or a chance experiment, the closer the estimates of the probabilities are likely to be the exact the actual probabilities.